So we are in the ER. It is exactly one week after the bite. After doing some research, I have determined that I want to go ahead with the rabies series um, with the vaccinations because once rabies appears, it's always fatal. So I am taking that precaution. The thing that sucks is they have to inject around the bite and then do the vaccination in your arm and I have to come back three more times after today. But after this, I will be vaccinated for rabies so I will be able to continue to do the free grooms um, and not require rabies shots. Big step. That was better than the tetanus. <laughs> yep. Hopefully the more you use the arm, the less sore it will be. Okay. Um. Let's start here. Yeah. Okay. Big stick. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. Ah ha ha. Mm. Okay, no, it's
That's gonna feel like you've got a fat finger. Probably feel like it did when they got bit. Yeah. So along with the shots in my arm, I had to get the rest of it in here and then here and there's two in my back hips. So find that one back there. One on there also. So six, seven, Eight shots plus the hand. So did I learn my lesson about rabies vaccinations? Yes. Um, this sucks. I do have to come back in three days, seven days, and 14, day 14 um, to get the rest of the series of shots. After that, I am good to go with continue grooming. I think it's a booster after three years. And I will continue doing free grooms and continue doing dogs that are not up to date because now I'm vaccinated or I will be vaccinated and so I won't have to worry about that as much.